Okay, this is lesson 5.4, which is dividing polynomials. So Algebra 2 guys, we are actually going to split this up into two videos. Um, the first part of your notes, uh, we're going to do the first two examples of this lesson, and then in the second part of the video, uh, which will be a separate video, um, I'll talk about the rest of the stuff. So this video, we're going to really hone in on objective one, which is we will be able to divide polynomials using long division. Okay, the second video that I'll do will deal with synthetic division. So, you guys are used to doing long division. Um, well, first of all, you don't even do it anymore. You put it in your calculator. But way back when, when you were wee little ones, and your third grade teacher made you do long division, this is what they made you do. 21 so this is 672 divided by 21. So then 21 goes into 67 three times and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, notice here, at the end, the remainder is 0. Okay. So 21 goes into 672 evenly. In other words, there is no remainder. Now, when you do polynomial long division, here's all you have to do. You're not going to divide 2x plus 1 into the whole thing. What you're going to do is you're going to take the 2x, just the 2x, and you're going to see if that goes into 6x squared. Okay. So what you're really doing is you're doing 6x squared divided by 2x. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and x squared divided by x is x. Now notice where I put the 3x. I put the 3x over the x term under the division sign, okay, just to keep everything in line. Now, I'm going to take that 3x, okay, so this equals 3x. So I'm going to take that 3x that I got, and I'm going to multiply it. Now, when I multiply it, I am going to multiply it times both the 2x and the 1. I'm going to distribute, okay. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared, right there. And then 3x times positive 1 is positive 3x. Now, when you do this, okay, when you do this, you are subtracting this whole thing, okay? So 6x squared minus 6x squared, those cancel. 7x minus 3x is 4x, okay? So now... What you do is you take the 2x, you're still taking 2x here, and now we're going to divide it into 4x, just the first term, okay? So 4x divided by 2x is 2. So that's where this 2 comes from. Well, now we're going to take that 2, let me change colors here. Now we're going to take that 2 and we're going to distribute it to the 2x plus 1. So 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 1 is 2. Now again, we are subtracting this whole thing, okay? So 4x minus 4x is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have a 0 remainder, okay? So this is our answer, 3x plus 2. And you're going to stop, essentially you're going to stop when you can't take the first term and divide it into this anymore. Okay. So what this means, as you can see at the bottom, it says the remainder from each division above is 0. So 21 is a factor of 672, and 2x plus 1 is a factor of 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. What that means is 2x plus 1 goes into 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 evenly. In other words, you get a 0 remainder. If you get a remainder of anything other than 0, then 2x plus 1 would not be a factor. Okay, let's do one. It says use polynomial long division to divide 4x squared plus 23x minus 16 by x plus 5. What is the quotient and the remainder? Okay, so I've got x plus 5. I haven't made a division sign in forever. I'm sure that'll go double for you plus 23x minus 16. Okay, now, again, change color here. This x 
is going to go into this 4x squared. So I have 4x squared divided by x. Okay, It's only the first terms. That's it. So, well, this is really a 1, so that's 4x. So 4, whoops, 4x four goes right here. Now I take the 4x and I distribute it to the x plus 5. So I get 4x squared plus 20x. Now I'm going to subtract that whole thing. So 4x squared minus 4x squared cancels. 23x minus 20x is 3x. So now I bring down the minus 16. Okay. So now, hang on, another color change. So now I'm going to take this x and I'm going to take it and put it into 3x. So what I have is 3x divided by x. Well, the x is cancel, and what's left? 3. So it's positive 3 plus, oh, come on. 3. So now I take the 3 times x plus 5. So I get 3x plus 15. Okay? So I subtract that. 3x minus 3x cancels. Now, be careful. This is negative 16. Subtract 15. So it's really negative 16 minus 15. Well, that's negative 31. Okay? So... The quotient, pardon my handwriting, is 4x plus 3, and the remainder whoops, equals negative 31. Now, sometimes the way they write this, and I don't know if they're going to make you do this, but I'll, and I'll find out. If you were to write this out, you would write your answer as 4x plus 3 plus negative 31 over x plus 5. In other words, what's on the outside? Okay, So this would be the remainder. That's an r. That's supposed to be an r. That's the worst r of all time. And then the x plus 5 is this right here. That's typically how you write it. That would be, that would be your answer. I don't know if they're going to do that. I can check on that for you. Okay, now it says problem 2. It says, is x squared plus 1 a factor of all that. Now here's what we're looking for. We need a remainder of zero. That's what we need. Okay? If we get we we do long division, we do this all out, if we get a remainder of zero at the end, then x squared plus 1 is a factor. If we get anything else, other than 0, then x squared plus 1 is not a factor. So we're going to do long division. So x squared plus 1. All right. I need to leave room on the top. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done long division. And like I said, that's probably double for you. And I have the sneaking suspicion that we're going to run out of room. You won't. You have a whole piece of paper. I, on the other hand, have this iPad screen, which is, quite frankly, not big. So, again, first term. First term. So, 3 x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. So, now I take the 3x and I multiply it times everything on the outside. I don't even know why that happened. A random mark. Oh, come on, man. It's a 1. To 1. So 3x squared times x squared, 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times 1 plus 3, what's, hang on, plus, come on man, 3x squared. By the way, I want you to notice something. Okay? I did not write anything under the x to the third. Why? Well, because I want to keep like terms together, okay? I want to keep like terms together. So, 3x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth. Bye-bye. Okay? Now, I'm, just, I'm going to bring down the minus 4x to the third. So, minus 4x to the third, and then 12x squared minus 3x squared is positive 9x squared. Okay? Now, 
one thing I may have forgotten to tell you. What's missing there? I have an x to the fourth term, I have an x to the third term, I have an x squared term, and then I have the constant. So what's missing? Ah, what is missing, you ask? Well, what's missing is the x term. I mean, we went x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, and apparently we just skipped x, and we went right to the constant term. Well, how do you deal with that? Well, here's how you deal with it. I probably should have mentioned this off the top, but we're doing this in one take, so bear with me. We are going to account for that by putting 0x right there. It's just a placeholder. It's just a filler, okay? And then the plus 5, okay? Now, once again, uh, let's try a different color. Let's try that one. I'm just picking random colors. So now, we're going to take negative 4x to the third divided by x squared. So I get minus 4 x. Sorry, need a remainder of zero. You gotta go. They already know, because I told them. Hopefully you remember. Okay, so now I take negative 4x and I distribute it through. So I get negative 4x to the third. That's a 3. And then minus 4x. Ooh. Now we're subtracting this whole thing. So negative 4x to the third minus negative 4x to the third cancels out. Now, look here. I've got 9x squared. Now, minus a negative is plus a positive, so that's plus 4x. Now, again, you don't have to worry about the 0x. You don't have to. It's just a placeholder, so you don't bring it down or anything like that. However we are going to bring down the plus 5. And this is where I fear we're going to run out of room. Okay. Now, different color. Uh, let's try that one. 9x squared divided by x squared. Well, that's just 9. Okay. So, 9 times x squared, 9x squared. 9 times 1 plus 9. Minus the whole thing. So what do I get? I get 4x, and then 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Now, we can't do any more division, okay? Because if I took 4x, and I try to divide by x squared, okay, that's no good. I can't do that, all right? So we have to stop here. Now, was our remainder 0? Everybody's saying no. Okay, good. So, that means the answer to this, is it a factor? No, because the remainder equaled 4x minus 4. It wasn't 0, okay? So, when they ask you to, if they, they ask you if a binomial is a factor of something, do long division, and you're hoping to get a remainder of 0. Okay, last one. Is x minus 2 a factor of that. So again, this is sort of the same thing. So x minus 2 divided by. Now, watch what happens. Look here. I've got x to the fifth. x to the fifth minus 32. So I literally have no other variables. So what I have to do is I have to account for that. 0x to the fourth plus 0x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x, that's a 0, worst 0 of all time, minus 32. You have to do that, okay? It, you, you can't just not do it, all right? Sorry. All right, you have to have placeholders for every single exponent. So if it's not in the original function, you've got to put a 0x to whatever. So again, here we go. x to the fifth divided by x is x to the fourth. So I take x to the fourth and I multiply it times what's outside so I get x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth. So I subtract that whole thing. Those cancel. Now again be careful. Signs are important. 0x to the fourth minus negative 
So that's a positive. So I get 2x to the fourth. Now, am I dropping 0x to the third? No. So there's nothing to write. So basically, here's the deal. Okay. This would be plus 0x to the third, I guess, if you want to drop it down. So now 2x to the fourth divided by x. Well, that's 2x to the third. So now I take 2x to the third and I multiply it by the outside. So I get 2x to the fourth minus 4x to the third. Subtract. By the way, you notice the first terms always cancel. That's the way it's supposed to work. Again, minus a negative. So I have 4x to the third. Now you bring down plus 0x squared. So, different color. Come on. Let's try purple. I haven't had purple in a while. 4x to the third divided by x. So that's plus 4x squared. So I'm, again, now this is a little bit longer, and I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to have to keep going on the next slide. Those cancel. Again, plus plus. So I have 8x squared. Bring down plus 0x. So 8x squared divided by x. So that's plus 8x. Multiply. So I get 8x squared. I'm running out of room. Minus 16x. So I subtract that whole thing. Those go away. Minus a negative again, so I get 16x. Now, bring down, the actually the 32 should go that way. <laughs> so minus 32. So 16x divided by x. So I get plus 16. So I take 16 times x minus 2. 16x minus 32, and I subtract. Those cancel, okay? Minus a negative. Well, negative 32 plus 32 is, oh, look at that. Our remainder is zero. So, is x, plus, is x minus 2 a factor? Yes. Now, it says, if it is, write p of x as a product of two factors. So, this is what you do. p of x equals... That's one of the factors. This is the other factor. So x minus 2 times all this on top. So x to the fourth. I actually have to write this down on paper because I don't want to keep going back and forth because you'll get dizzy with all the times I go back and forth. All right. That's a pen dropping. All right. So x to the fourth plus 2x to the third, plus 4x squared, plus 8x, that's an 8, plus 16. So that will be your final answer, because they want two factors. Well, there's one, and then there's one really big one. All right? So I apologize for the length of the video. Normally I don't make them this long, but I wanted to make sure long division is the longer of it takes the longest of the two divisions okay so I wanted to make sure that everybody understood that so that's part one of section 5 4